Good morning everybody, it's uh, DC here. I've not been on for a while, I'm sorry about that to, to all my subscriber followers. Um, I've been in a rut to be honest, I've been stuck, I've uh, hit a brick wall with my learning and uh, uh, I apologise that I've not been <laughs> clever enough or understanding enough of the works of physics and nature. Anyway, um, that's enough putting me down. Um, it's the 23rd of the 10th, 2020. And what I've got to share with you today is, um, does the ether keep a magnet sus sustained? Um, I don't know whether you've ever thought of a, a, a magnet. Here we have a, an ordinary bar magnet with north and south. And I don't really ever thought about how the magnet is energised or how it retains its magnetism. And uh, it's really set me on a path of thinking how a magnet works. I've been looking at um, Ken Wheeler and Ken Wheeler's uh, views on magnetism. And I find him a fascinating chap and very, very interesting some of the stuff that uh, he proposes. And I don't think he's far off the page with it. Um, I've got a representation here of a, a, a magnet in, in graphic terms and what we've got, we've got the north and the south, we we'll call them poles, but Ken Wheeler doesn't like to call them poles, but we we'll call them poles for now. And um, the block wall or blotch wall, and uh, I found out that, well, I'm sure now, I'm certain that the the magnetic lines of force do not circulate from north to south as shown by iron filings. I think that the the north stays to the north side of the block, blotch wall and the south stays to the south side of it. So the lines of force are going like that. And the, the two don't mix. So my area of interest at the moment is the block, blotch wall. And I'm what I'm looking at is how this, how the magnet itself sustains itself. It's sort of fascinating how it can do that. And I'm wondering all sorts of things. So um, what I'm thinking is if we can manipulate the uh, blotch wall in some way, take it, take it within the magnet and move it up and down. <laughs> and if we can move that up and down or make it possibly make the the, uh, the the blotch wall vibrate and move it, we can create energy or power, potential. So I think the first thing that we've got to understand, um, these X's here, this X represents a magnet and these X's here represent the ether, the air if you like, or space or whatever. And I'm wondering if the ether can energize the magnet. Um, so this is my thinking now about the about the ma magnet being energized by the ether. But first of all, what we have to understand is the ether. So any feedback you can give me on the ether, and um, there's many. Uh, scientists deny that there is an ether, but I think there is. So this is where I'm at at the moment, folks, looking at um, magnets and how they work, um, the blotch wall in relation to the north and south flow, if you like, of the magnetic field, but also how the magnetic field keeps itself going. There must be something to keep the field going. It must, I can't figure out how it sustains itself. <laughs> so there, there we are, folks. That's where I'm at at the moment. And um, I must admit, it's stumping me and it's making me think. And uh, it's very slow process. I'm nearly 73 now. And my thinking isn't like it used to be. But I feel I'm getting somewhere. And I would welcome really welcome any help from anybody constructive help not destructive because as many people say oh that's wrong that's wrong I, i'd like you to be constructive okay folks that's about it for now um 
I've still got work in progress on the bench with the this um, these tubes, and um, that's, I'm still having a go at that. But the magnets, these donut magnets, and that are really fascinating me at the moment. So that's it for now. Um, as I post any more videos, I'll try and let you know the latest updates. Um, and uh, once again, uh, thank you for your time and um, subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.